Good morning everyone. Christina Barnes here, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator in Australia. Coming to you this morning uh, with Masculine Monday, as I do every Monday morning. Uh, and I'm a, a little tired today. If you haven't been, um, haven't, haven't seen any of my posts over the last few days, I, um, I've been completely reorganising my stamping crafting space. So I'm kind of sitting in a different position today, um, which is a little disorientating. It's a bit weird. <laughs> um, as you can see behind me, so my sister brought this piece of furniture up from uh, about three and a half hours away where she lives. Um, it was a piece of furniture that belonged to my parents. Uh, my mum passed away uh, um, 11 years ago and it's that piece of furniture has been sitting in storage since then so I thought it was time it got some use and some love and um, now my parents are there <laughs> or some of their furniture anyway so <laughs> So not only have we been reorganizing, my, or I've been reorganizing my stamping space, we also pulled out all the, everything in the garage, which is where my son um, runs his wood churning um, workshop from. So it's been a huge weekend, lots going on here. So yes, I'm a little tired and a little, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully I can get through this without, um, uh, falling in a heap <laughs> and as you can see so behind me I've got the, all the stamp sets here my inks up there which will get better organized as time goes on um, behind my head there's a spot where my die cutting machine will go in there um, it's on the table I'm to use at the moment um, this bit up here is still messy and needs organizing and <laughs> sorting but I'm getting there so uh, feeling much more organized and yeah makes life so much easier all right so anyway masculine Monday so because I am a little out of whack and <laughs> I had some ideas for today uh, but I decided to try and keep it a bit more simple than what I had originally planned um, so um, I think last week I made this card um, on my Wednesday live. I've added a flower to that. Um, and it's the same as this one. So those two are recent ones. Uh, and I thought I would stick with the layout and this exactly the same, basically the same card only with just a slightly different technique to add to that one um, and a way of using up some of your scraps which is always good so I'm going to turn over so you can see what I'm doing and um, hopefully I make sense because I don't feel like I am at the moment <laughs> okay here we go turning over Oh, we have a little Felix cat here helping us out too. Hey, Felix. Okay. So, first of all, I have... This is a new... Oh, I don't know if you can see that really well. This is a new embossing folder. This is the gingham embossing folder. Isn't that cool? It's so... It, it's really amazing. I was looking at this in a different light and you could really see the dark and light stripes. That's great. So fantastic for backgrounds, this one. So I have cut this one out and embossed it first so that I'm a little bit organized. Okay, so that's what, that's the layer that's going over the base of the card. All right, so put your hand up. <laughs> put your hand up if you have these and if you don't put your hand up I know you're lying because <laughs> when I was getting organized I was looking at all these 
strips and I was going, yeah, okay, I have a hoarding problem because <laughs> look at that. That's only some of them. Um, but instead of throwing out these little strips, as I know some people do, these little thin strips, we can use them. Let's use them. Let's make a card with them. So I have some um, Knight of Navy, <laughs> I think, yes, Knight of Navy as a card base. And the white that has been through the gingham embossing folder. And I've left a nice wide border around this one so we can see lots of the Knight of Navy. And as I said, so this is going to be that same layout as this one. All right. So how are we going to do it? All right, so this little piece here, this is the right size for that same die, which is from the, the stocking dies, uh, which is going to be retiring soon. And that, so we're going to cut that out after I've done the strips. Okay, so there's just random colors here. Um, I, I chose mostly kind of masculine. Well, they don't have to be, I guess, but kind of masculine colors. And then all we're going to do is stick them down. That's the fun part. So it's a bit like being back in primary school, isn't it? Really? So uh, all I'm going to do is, is pick one and then we're going to stick them down. Um, I'm just t deciding whether to do, you could do, we could do them diagonally or we could do them straight up and down. Let's do them diagonally for some fun. But if you do them diagonally, you have to make sure that the strips actually fit. So it's a nice long one. And then you just have to play a little bit and find strips that are long enough. Okay, so let's start with this piece here. And I use glue, I'm going to just glue this one onto the back of here to start with and get that one down. You do have to be a little bit careful with this otherwise you end up with glue absolutely everywhere. Alright, so I'm kind of going on a long diagonal, you could make it you know, less. Less extreme diagonal. All right, and then after that first one, let's put a little strip of glue hmm, down here. The glue will actually come out. So we're putting the glue onto the base rather than onto your strips. Otherwise, you get you know glue everywhere from the back of pieces. So making sure that your strips are long enough that they cover your white base. And as you can see I've got some part, some that are uh, long strips, some short strips. So it's completely random. <laughs> I haven't worked colours out. I am just picking up people. Picking up pieces, popping them down in an order that looks okay to me. Uh, so we need a. Okay, let's finish off. What about. That's a nice colour. glue onto the white and then popping that down. Put a tiny little corner there. Uh, maybe a little piece of the orange. So if you've got longer pieces like this one and you've got a tiny edge like that, we don't want to waste our strips. <laughs> Up. 
All right, and then coming back this way. Pick a color. All right, uh, let's add some had a bit too much glue on that one. If you had you know, specific colours that you wanted to use, pick those colours of course. So you can see this one only just went over the white but that's enough and then we're going to have quite a bit over that top edge that can come off. Uh, on a cake. Maybe a wider orange piece. Oh, so my crumb cake, this is why you use glue. So the crumb cake didn't, oops, didn't quite come down far enough. And it's just dried a bit. So, yes, I'm, see, I'm tired. I'm not looking. <laughs> All right, so that should be fine like that. So you do have a little bit of time to work with it, but not a lot. Okay, let's try again. Some orange here. It's always good to check it before you put it down. Make sure it is long enough to cover. Yeah, in this case, it wouldn't really have mattered because I am going to die cut that out. Mm. Let's see. What else have we got? Just bring that colour down here. Is that the same? Yes, okay. colors have I pulled out? I've got uh, this is Cajun Craze and Pumpkin Pie Crumb Cake uh, Pool Party and I think that's a bit of Merry Mellow and some um, Crush Curry Actually, that's a piece of, um, that's granite grey, I think, rather than, I was going to put, never mind. So, it doesn't matter, it's all completely random. <laughs> it's all meant to be a bit of fun, so that we can use up some of these scraps. No, they're not scraps, are they? They're just little excess pieces that we can use. Okay. So that's what we've got on the front. And as you can see, it's kind of a bit random. And I'm going to take the die and I'm going to die cut it. And I'm going to do it, make sure, I want to make sure that I'm, I've got it on this piece. So just to be on the safe side, I am going to trim some of these off so that I can see approximately where that is so that I guess it doesn't really matter all right so then we're going to cut that like so okay, and with all these and so as you can see the little scraps 
some of them are too small but some of these pieces that we just cut off there they can be used if you're doing another one so we'll keep those there even some of the smaller ones for the corners okay so I've just got to go off camera over here to run that through Here's my die cut piece. There we go. So that looks pretty different to um, this. <laughs> All right. Now, of course, I haven't used any of those colors as my base car color which you know perhaps would look better um, I think I originally had planned to put some of the blue in but it just hasn't happened uh, I have another one here I have a Bermuda Bay piece maybe that might be better let's try that making it up as I go along here yeah I think Bermuda Bay is better so let's use that one. Right. I've also got here some of the linen thread and I'm going to put some linen thread around this panel. Um, and I'm going to do that before I adhere this down so when I put linen uh, any thread rib ribbon or thread on I like to stick it on the back so I like to use the tear and tape so I work out about where I want it to go so about here and then stick that end down. And then I think I'm going to wrap it around twice. So in this case, I'm going to take the backing off that tear and tape. Wrapping that around twice. And then You need small pieces of the tear and tape on this, but just another piece there to secure that. bit at the top and bottom. So I do like to just secure the ends of, of the, um, the thread. So leave me a comment if you've had a busy like the weekend and it's leading up to Christmas isn't it? It quite often gets crazy busy but we're trying to keep it 
other than reorganizing everything in the house <laughs> we're trying to keep it fairly quiet this week this time um, this year I think it's been it's been so much going on this year that it's really nice just to sit back and enjoy spending time with family and friends rather than getting too crazy busy all right okay so um base all right so I'm going to add just a knot onto that the bit of twine that's already there or thread and I've got I've got a double well it's one piece that I've doubled over I'm going to pop underneath here and just tie a knot like so and then you can trim the ends to whatever length you like Okay, I have a strip here, I have a couple, <laughs> okay, I have a strip hmm, that can go across here, I had another one that I stamped the other day but I think the colour's not good, well yeah that works, so that could go on there, that says just a note. I'm going to stamp this one. I like this. Sending birthday wishes. This comes from a new stamp set called Wildlife Wonder, which I was going to use today. That was what I was going to do. All right. So just inking that up. Sending birthday wishes. Ah, look, I can't stamp straight today. Okay, I'm not going to attach that. That's crooked. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I would just... Um, I have another strip here, which I would normally redo that, but <laughs> you can see. <laughs> there we go. So that's my card for today. Using up with your strips bits and pieces of course you can do all sorts of things with that with that um, technique you can use designer series paper which looks great but as I said these were kind of sitting there going please use me uh, and so I've just combined well you, as you saw just bits and pieces yeah and that's um, again so what I did last time with this one I decided that it was too plain without the flower so I added that flower on there and then I was happy with that and you might think the same about this one you might want to add something here but I quite like it it's yeah just interesting different colors and it's yeah and a bit of texture in the background so that's my card for today I hope you um, have a great day and have a crafty week um, and I will be back on Wednesday, hopefully a bit better organized and a bit, um, <laughs> a bit less tired, um, with something different completely. And yeah, if I don't see you then, 
hopefully you have a lovely week leading up to Christmas and I will be doing Masculine Monday after Christmas so um, I'll see you then. Happy stamping! <laughs>